Hello, everyone, and welcome to Consciousness is Sexy. I'm your host, Patty Alfonso, and the topic for today is how different are you willing to be? Now, this is the first show back from a wee bit of a break, so it's our new season of Consciousness is Sexy, and it has been a whirlwind for me in the last few months, and I wanted to tell you guys kind of a story of something that I witnessed, and at the same time, I was in such awe of what I was witnessing that I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be a great topic for the show. So I was on my flight back from Rome, Italy, and I had just finished attending the Symphony of Possibilities Maestro class, and I was sitting right behind first class. And I was the second row right behind first class. And, you know, I'm all excited, been done with class and, you know, like excited to get back home and start creating and all of that. And I'm on the end of the aisle and people are coming in and sitting down. And these two super handsome, cute twin men, boys, because they were boys, but they weren't, they're, you know, young, like in, in 18. And they're, they're just so cute. And they come and they sit down in the row in front of me. And then their parents come and sit down in the row next to me. And I'm like, oh, this will be fun. And so, you know, the flight takes off and we're all getting settled in, in, in what we're doing. And you know, I hope you know, maybe you know, like, in first class, they pull that little curtain so that you can't go into first class like when you're traveling. And so, you know, they pull the curtain and, you know, I'm like, whatever, and we're all sitting there and they turn off the fasten seatbelt sign. And one of the twin boys gets up and he goes to go through the curtain and he stops. And he looks at his brother and he says, are we even allowed to go in there? And before his brother could answer, the kid took off into first class, went straight with like conviction and direction into the bathroom. He went to the bathroom and I just looked at that and I was like, that was awesome. And his mom starts laughing and then her and I start chatting. And she's like, you know, he's always been that way. He's just one of those people who just goes. And I'm like, you know what? That's actually really amazing. I've always been that way too. And I looked at her and I was like, you know, those are the people that will actually change the world. The ones that will choose whatever it is that they want to choose and go for it with confidence, with conviction, with like, I'm choosing this no matter what. And so her and I have a nice little conversation about that and we're talking about access consciousness and whatever. And she's like, yeah, he's just always been that way. And so what was really cool was what happened after that. So after that, you know, I'm sitting on the flight, it's a long flight, and I kid you not, at least five different people came up to the curtain. And some would walk up and, and stop at the curtain and kind of look around and then walk away. And then there was another lady, a lot of people did that actually, they would walk up and kind of look in the curtain and see what's over there and look around and then walk away. I swear like five different people. And I actually looked at the mom and I was like, do you see, do you see how different your son is and how amazing that is? And she had never actually looked at it that way. Like in her universe, he was just this, uh, you know, rebellious teenager who was just doing whatever he wanted, you know, but as every person came up and looked in that curtain and looked in and then walked away, she kind of, I could see it that it clicked in her universe, like the difference that her son bees in the world. And I just kept saying, you know, people that are different that way, those are the kinds of people that actually create changes in the world. And so, you know, the brother gets up and he walks through, but he's not quite as confident as the first kid. But you know, he chose and he went anyway and he kind of, you know, did his thing. And then it was my turn to go to the bathroom. And I could actually perceive like the, the quote unquote nervousness, what I would normally define as nervousness. But now that I look at it, I was probably just excited and I do it. I go through the curtain with confidence and I just go to the bathroom and I do my thing and I come back and like everything is fine. And then the other sort of person that I noticed was 
there was this woman who walked up to the curtain, looked in, looked around, and then she looked at me as if to ask for permission if she could go through. And I looked at her and I was like, and you know, my sort of telepathic thought was, what are you gonna choose? What would you like to choose? And she looked at me and then she looked at the curtain again and then went for it. And I thought, this is the most amazing display of human dynamics, right? That I've noticed in a long time. And I talked to the mom and I was like, do you see? Now she was like actually asking for permission. And her mom was just like, I had never really noticed anything like this before. And then we had a wonderful conversation with her son and I was just like, you just keep being you and you just keep choosing what you're gonna choose no matter what is coming up. And, you know, you're gonna do great things in, her, in your life. And so anyway, it was a wonderful, lovely trip and I had the best time just kind of playing with them and sharing the tools of access with them and, and just noticing the different kinds of dynamics that show up. And what I would like actually right now is for you guys to take a moment and look at the way that you're being in your life and which one of those, you know, people are you being? Are you the kind of person that just goes for it and takes risks and takes chances and says yes to whatever it is that you would like to create? Are you the kind of person that maybe is a little bit hesitating, not so sure, maybe later, maybe another time? Are you the kind of person that needs permission? I know there's plenty of situations in my life where I still feel like I need permission in order to do that. And the cool thing about this, look you guys, there's no right or wrong about, where, about wherever it is that you are in this very moment. The, the cool thing is to become aware of where you are. And in every moment, if you would like to change it, to make a different choice. And to go back to this kind of metaphor, maybe today you didn't go through the curtain. Maybe tomorrow you do. Maybe tomorrow it's a little bit different than it is today. Choice is what is going to create. And even if it's a 1% change, what can you choose today that will actually create what you desire to create in your life. And I wanna gift you this other question. So in those moments where you're gonna choose something and maybe an energy comes up and you're not really sure, and do I need permission? And is this the right thing to do? And am I breaking any rules? And you know, no one was gonna die if a couple of people from our class went into first class to go to the bathroom. Okay, no one's gonna die. It's not a big deal, you know? Um, so what, if I were, okay, here's a question, sorry. If I were truly being me, then what would I choose? If I were truly being me in this situation, what would I choose? The question, how different are you willing to be? You know, a lot of us are like, yeah, I'm willing to be totally different. And beyond that, we know that this world doesn't always um, acknowledge and they're not always kind to people who are different, to people who are really different, to people who are weird, to people that don't fit in the mold, to people that, um, you know, do things a little bit differently than everyone else. So in those moments, the willingness to create something beyond that. Because as I said to the mom and the kid, the people that are willing to choose something different and create something different, those are the people that are gonna create the changes in the world. Um, so anyway, it was, it was a fabulous experience. And what I've noticed for myself, because that has actually been rolling around in my universe since I, since I came back from my trip, and what I noticed myself was the ways in which if I'm not willing to be the difference that I truly be, 
the ways in which that I shrink myself down to try to fit in to this reality, to someone else's reality, in this world, and all of those things that I do to try to shrink myself to fit in are actually the ways in which I bend, fold, staple, mutilate myself. And then I'm not being myself. I'm not being the difference that I came here to be. So if you are truly being you beyond what you think you are, what would you choose? What will you choose in your choices coming up in the, the things that will be coming up for you um, in the next few weeks, months, years. What would you like to choose? So does anyone have any comments or questions about that? If you'd like to unmute yourself, you can. If you'd like to put something in the chat, you can, you can do that as well. Um, a lot of people have been uh, asking me about, and you can unmute yourself while I keep talking. I'm just going to keep on <laughs> rambling, I guess, because um, a lot of people have been inquiring about this consciousness is sexy and, and what is that and, and what do you mean by that? Like when I tell them I'm, I'm, a, I'm an online TV host and this is my show and whatnot, they're like, well, what is that consciousness is sexy? And this very topic of how different are you willing to be, this very idea of stepping into truly who you are, of allowing yourself to be the difference that you truly are, to me, that's what is sexy. To me, that is what creates that inner light to shine, that creates your body being happy, that creates the joy that you truly be. And that is what I think makes you sexy. <laughs> For those of you that are new on the show and are like, what are we doing here? Um, so anyway, yes, any questions or comments so far? Look at all of these people that have joined us after I began. How does it get better? Um, I'm so grateful for all of you being here. Let's see. I see someone typing. Hello, hello, everyone. Actually, I want to see all of your faces. <gasps> Hi, everyone. <laughs> How does it get better than this? Yay! Patty. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, hey, it's totally cool if you guys don't have any questions this time. I do. I just, um, um, I know. in the show. And I just want to thank you again so much for being here. From thank here on out, we're going to do kind of a little pop up thing. Um, I guess not. Simply Hi, because Patty. with my travel schedule and with everything going on, it's not so easy for me to do it at the same time every week. So we're going to go to twice a month and we're going to play with different times and different days and we're going to see what we can create from that. If you're watching this in the future on my new home and my new TV channel, I'm so grateful. How does it get better? And maybe you can join us live sometime. You can register at consciousness.sexy. And if you guys would like more information about me and what I'm being in the world, you can go to pattyalfonso.sexy. And Cami says, hi, happy to be here. I'm happy that you're here too. How does it get better? Thank you all so much for gracing me with your beautiful, amazing presence. I will certainly see you soon somewhere around the world. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.